Today I feel like I should work a little bit on the indie mill, so let's do it. Z-axis motor plate, that's this thing, that's the drawing of this part. And I actually don't like the idea that I initially had to use NEMA 17 for the Z-axis because it's actually quite odd to use three NEMA 23 stepper motors and then one random NEMA 17. It's better to just buy four exactly the same stepper motors for this whole project. So I will redesign this to hold NEMA 23 instead of NEMA 17. And also this belt right there, it was super short. And it's actually super hard to buy this kind of short GT2 closed belt. So I redesigned this thing so that the belt right there will be longer, super easy to buy everywhere probably. And this part right there, those holes are exactly the same so that you can attach this to the construction that I already have. And I will machine this thing on the Dremel CNC out of 5mm aluminum. Original parts for the Indie Mill are made out of 8mm steel, but firstly, I can't machine steel on the Dremel CNC and I don't have anything thicker than 5mm aluminum. But that should be fine, it should be strong enough without any problems. And here I have both of my machines, Dremel CNC, that's what I will use to machine the part for the Indie Mill. And that's, that's exactly this part right there. It should be an easy thing to machine, I hope it will be easy to machine. And that's pretty much it for this video. I already have the stepper motor drivers, the power supply, stepper motors, and I also designed a shield for the Arduino. With screw terminals, everything is clearly labeled, so it will be super easy to connect anything on your Indie Mule. And some of you suggested to use a screw terminal shield for the Arduino or Arduino Nano. And that's also a good idea, but nothing is labeled right there, so you don't know where to connect everything. And my shield is compatible with GRBL, so it's actually super easy to just connect everything, install GRBL on the Arduino and you are good to go. So here is my design, here are the pocket holes, and I know that this big pocket hole right here should be cut with contour cut so that it is more efficient and you can machine that faster, but I actually don't really like doing the contour cuts on the Dremel CNC, so I will just do this with pocket hole and the same thing for the slots. And then we have the contour cut of the outside of this part. Simulation shows me that it should take about an hour to machine this thing. I think it will be closer to two hours, but we'll see. So everything is ready, just let's post process, export the G-code, okay. And now, now we can turn on the drum CNC and finally machine some aluminum. The milling went, I would say, surprisingly smooth. Like, even the counter cut was kind of perfect. We have some problems on the Z-axis. Uh, I probably just should clean the Z-axis screw. One problem is that CNC.js is freezed for some reason and I can't control the machine right now. And also during milling, I wasn't able to change the feed rate and stop the machine. I will take off this piece of aluminum and I have to do some post-processing with this thing. I have to drill a few holes that are not drilled all the way through. And then we'll paint this thing and hopefully we'll just match the Indie Mule right there and also the Nova 23.
There's quite a lot of material to remove right there and there, but with a step drill and a file, it's not a problem. That was a small part for Dremel CNC, but actually a huge improvement to Indimil project because right now at this point I think that the main frame is 99% finished. To all of those complaining in the comments about decouplers, yes, I know what will happen when I will try to run this machine, I already noticed that, but I'm not planning to use those fancy brings for the ball screw. I think I will just replace those couplers with solid couplers, you know, with solid piece of steel with two holes for the motor shaft and for the ball screw itself and that should work as for now maybe later I will use those fancy couplers I don't know at this point as I said I don't know when I will have the parts to continue working on the Indy Mill I already have the Indy Shield so soon I will make a video about that but I don't know when I will continue working on this project because of the wood I think that may take a long time I don't know. I'm sorry for that, but that's not my fault. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really a short one, but at the same time really funny to improve this machine with old CNC project, with the Dremel CNC that is, that is right, right there. It was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe to not miss new projects. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Link to my Patreon is in the description. Link to industry is in the description. Don't forget to sign up to the newsletter. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Happy making. Bye.